made it until we got live. While, while we're on the podcast. And they can't see you. Tell people to stretch while stretching. I'm like doing my teeth. I'm always stretching. What? Like oh, yeah, because he's stretching out his blessings to us. Oh, man. You say you like a manatee? No, I think you said the almighty. Yeah. <laughs> he would have said manatee. Stretching. I would have been like, okay. I really thought you said manatee. I was like, a manatee <laughs> I loved like... manatees growing up as a kid. I even donated. Like, my school did a program where we had the scholastics. Remember, fun facts. Remember the, sc- <laughs> remember the scholastics that you of always course, used to on. get, but you had to pay for that shit? Of so course. then when niggas was like, oh, no. When book day used to come around, you get the scholastics. You was so that girl, right? We did. What girl? Like, you had the most money during book day, right? Oh, absolutely. I, I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> book days, field trips. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> to it all. He was always overly prepared. Yeah. Of course, there's one one of your friends you probably bought a book for. Yo. And then my mom would go on field trips and then she'd end up buying Hello? everybody no. shit. Yeah. Oh, you can't hear yourself? Hold on. This is your cord? Okay, so. Can, can you? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, yeah. So, then, yeah, when well, my mom would go on field trips, everybody used to love it because she would, like, get everybody mama shit. HR? How's my mom? Yes. That's a legit She's question. like a low key turned up version of me. Like I, I'm my mother's child, absolutely. Which tell. is why we bump heads because she's a Taurus. I could tell. So we bump heads a lot. I, I like I idolize my mom. I know that's not your enemy, Tauruses. That seems like yeah. the technology that niggas out. It's bizarro world, but um, I love her because y'all workers be wild. We not that wild. Yes, y'all are. Right. Yo, I just saw um. A thing on Instagram from Cas Facts. Shout out to Cas Facts. He's always supporting the Java TS podcast. Um, he had just posted it because I had reposted it on my Instagram, uh, where he said, "Miss, I have to be extra dramatic, even though I don't really give a fuck because you keep playing with me." And the first thing said September first. Yes. So I was like, "Absolutely, yes. <laughs> you keep playing with me. I'm gonna yes. I keep being wild dramatic, and that'll be that." Um, Jobber Nation, welcome to another episode of the Jobber Tears Podcast. As always, I'm Janelle from HR. Here with Sir Wilkins and Mr. Black. We are safe. We are marked safe. The city has been a little bit of the wild, wild west for the past 48 hours. (laughs) Um, yeah, I had people, (laughs) it was so funny because I had like all of my parental, all of my parentals (laughs) text me. My brother texted me, like, mad people were hitting me up. <laughs> and I was like, well, I said, no, I'm okay. First of all, I woke I, I had already was in probably, like, my last dream when shit was going down. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, shit. Like, shit is wild out here. And then Mikey S goes, he goes, ain't nobody check on me. I said, nigga, nobody knows you really in Brooklyn. <laughs> so I thought how would they Queens. know? <laughs> but he stays with me most of the week. So he's in Brooklyn. Nine times, like, but, I would say like, eighty percent of the week. You don't live on that week. side. Yeah, and I don't live on that side. And like, there's no. But port- people wouldn't know that. So that's why, like, my homegirl when we went to DC, yeah. she had she had texted me earlier today. She was like, "I'm just checking on you, sis." A lot of people. From and out of state a lot of people from out of state had checked yeah. on me. My ho- like Takia from Chicago mm-hmm. checked like checked up on me and stuff like that. But I was like, I don't live on that side of yeah. Brooklyn. But then I had saw somebody had posted a video on Instagram was on some like, yo, that nigga could have never done that shit in like Brownsville. In like bed style, like it could have never went down that way. Yo, the thing sounds scripted, low key. It, it's it's very sus. Like for first of all, it's how did very he, so sus. supposedly he got caught by calling like so not so. only he called but like people around the area had called too. So what? So what? But was he his had motive? called. Uh, they don't know. Oh, yet. he said I had that to alert the city about how like how that that he, shit ain't safe. Yeah, it ain't <laughs> safe. So I had to do this. But my thing makes no sense. Is hold on, so hold on, hold on, wait, mysteriously, wait, right? Wait, wait, time out, time out, time yes. out. We gotta rewind on this. Yes. <laughs> so he said, yeah, that I did this <laughs> to show how unsafe the city is. So this nigga is Thanos. And then, and then, and then, this is what the cops said. All his weapons and stuff like that was found on a crime scene. But the first report said that how that you couldn't find nothing. And how can you identify him? But yeah, he had a, the mask and a vest on, nigga. How? How, Sway? Explain this. Well, because they traced it back to the U-Haul. When they found the U-Haul, they found the name, the person who rented it, and then he was already in the system because he had he did crimes in New York, in Wisconsin, in, in Pennsylvania, in Ohio. Though, like, no, none of it makes sense. All the none narrative fits that he said, like, I hate the mayor, all of that. So you picked the right guy to do this, right? Well, I mean... <laughs> There's some belly shit right here. Definitely baby. debatable, but... And it was it's crazy because some of the things he would say, like, that, like, that was posted on, on social media and stuff like that. Like what he was saying was like, oh, he's not 
too far fetched for the truth kind of thing. But it's just how, about how you go about it. Like it's just like, bro, like it add up. you really did that. But my my thing is, and I told Mikey this. I said if y'all had the man's credit card, y'all could have traced the phone and y'all could have found him. <laughs> he didn't even have to call in. Y'all could have definitely looked at sales. Like y'all niggas do that for every type of other person. Y'all look at sales towers. Y'all look all at all that other shit. And the one time y'all niggas need to like fish this nigga out of the city, and we just gonna sit quietly and wait and until the he calls on himself. And the cameras didn't work in that area, but yet that's but yet, us. And that station, three is like ca- top they priority. said they said three cameras in right. the entire NTA system did not was down, and that was one of the. This three. is a conspiracy to get like, more cops the into the subway. Exactly. Well, that, and then um, the governor of Georgia just signed uh, a law that people can carry for protection without permits. So it's all just so coincidental that all this is going down while that's being signed into law. It, 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 mind you, yes, it's in Georgia, but when things happen, you know, one place, it can happen somewhere else. So. And you don't think that it's suspicious is like now, like they're rid of, like they, they're pushing getting rid of ghost guns? You know what ghost guns are, right? No, I've never heard of it's that. It's basically like, gun. like if I send you a gun, it's like a builder kit. Like you could build a gun at your house. Oh yeah, if you get the parts and you and put you it together. Parts, yeah. So a lot it's of just wild. But um but once again, anyone that has been affected, it was crazy because my homeboy, like one of my only few Spanish friends that I have in my life, he um him and his wife, they actually just moved to Jersey, but I know she I know his wife still worked in that area mm-hmm. in Sunset Park because that's where they lived. Mm-hmm. So I te- he was the first person I texted. I was like, mm-hmm. yo, are y'all good? He was like, She was on that train, but she's okay. Like her and her sister were on that train. Right. Oh, that's scary. And they were yeah, and I was just like, She's he's like, Yeah, she's at work. I said, Nigga, I would have been like A lot of people shook up by my I'd have got too, my know? so my brother, um, this is like behind the scenes talk before we get into some wrestling because Brother HR. Like it was it was very slow this week in wrestling, so we're just gonna just chop it up a little bit. Um, my brother actually works for MTA. Mm-hmm. So he was the first, he was the very first person. Like, he texted me, but I said, well, I, well, cause I just woke up. You, you but, were in trouble. Like, you probably get Yo, SummerSlam tickets going on sale. Yeah, um, in Nashville. Uh, but yeah, he had texted me and I said, are you okay? Cause he, you know, he does like the signage and like subway changes and things like that. That's, that was always his dream job. It was the, I thought was the weirdest thing, but people love what they love. My brother always loved trains growing up. So it was, it's funny. But I said, are you okay? He was like, I'm actually a little shaken up. Because you just never mm. know. Like, because, like, that next day, I was looking at everybody. So it's like, <laughs> y'all niggas grow up y'all niggas kind of move. privilege. <laughs> How you say privilege? For a black man to be, to be like, to love trains like that, privilege. Yeah, like, my mom used to always take him to, like, the train show at the mm. um, at That's the privilege right Bronx there. Zoo. Like, she had a membership. Like, like, people don't understand. Transit Museum, like, everything. Black people growing up in, like, in privilege where they are, like, a black person, a black Family able to like grow up to able to dream that's privilege, but yet we get make fun of for having dreams. Like, I don't understand why is that it's like, weird. yeah, it's, it's I just, mean, like, yeah, it's a real taboo. It's a, on black it's a people. real, it's 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 unbalanced in a sense because you know you want everybody to, to dream to dream and, and have like those big aspirations and goals in life and things like that. So, I don't know. It's I weird. mean, like, you get make fun of growing up because like you have both parents, you get make fun of because you have. Clothes on your back. You got to make fun of because you're not coming out the struggle. You know, it's wild. It I never weird. got f- made fun of because I have both parents, but people will always be like, you're so lucky. And I was just like, oh, only if you. Like, right, 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 right. Uh, it's not always the best thing. You know but... what it is? It's just like, especially among our community, is people feel like you're doing well is how much materialistic stuff that you, that you accumulate. Yeah. It's not and it's never that about, it's about that. It's yeah. about emotional support. Yeah. It's about like mental support. It's I know about people physical that have support. That who have everything, but yeah, like, you don't notice all the kids who had everything growing up, the free crib, like you see them now. They're the murderers. Exactly. They're the, murderers. They're the ones who the rapists is. They're the ones that have that, have that who don't have friends. They're the ones who calling you and saying that, yo, dang, I'm proud of you because you're so successful. I'm, 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 I'm looking at them like, bro, you have the job, the girls, Everybody, all you of You know, that. but it's, uh, it's, like, it's like going back to what Undertaker said in his Hall of Fame speech. Perception is everything. Yeah. And when you have a certain perception of somebody and what their lifestyle is and what they go through, then you have this like you have this image of them. But um moving on. Yes, yeah, SummerSlam tickets. Anyone um gonna head out? Nashville is definitely an amazing city. Um tickets I think go on sale this Friday, 
I believe. Um, also, too, I do believe if you check on Mania Club's Facebook page, they are doing a suite um, for SummerSlam. Um, so you can hit up um, Mania Club for more information on that if you wanted to do a suite for them. Um, those that are watching on the live feed, um, our next pay-per-view would be WrestleMania Backlash back at Legends. What day? Uh, I believe it's May 8th, which actually is Mother's Day. Um, and then at the end of May, it'll oh, be for Double or Nothing. Wrestling and Cutty After. Okay. <laughs> a perfect Mother's Day Sleep. gift. Get yourself a Legends voucher. <laughs> I mean, a gift card. Oh, when is Mother's Day? When is Mother's Day? May 8th. We just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Good morning. So what's going on he with you? He just her? said it's Mother's Day and then said... What day is Mother's Day? <laughs> no, because what day of the week? Sunday. Sunday. It's, it's, always, always it's on, on the day of the pay-per-view. Oh. Yo, why shall we do something like a, a mother tribute that's like, that's so cheesy? All like, the all right. mamas. I mean, that's all how right. I felt about Rumble. Like, I thought that was very, very, that's very mom. dope. That's pretty more mommy. How, like, I felt like 20% of the World Rumble was, was wrestlers who, who, were, who are moms. I thought that was dope. Um, to come back and be able to do the rumble, I think that's pretty dope. That was a big, <clears throat> that was a big a lot of money left on the table with that because they kind of had like a good campaign of like mothers that who were able to do both, who still wrestle and stuff like that. Like you could have got real, like real, like that's a real lot of money that they well, left I mean, on the table. I feel like they they do slow up rollouts for certain things like that, cer- certain projects that they may have. Um, but people may say what, what WWE may say, but WWE low-key do be in the mix of what pop, pop culture is going on. Well, yeah, they don't have no choice. I think after they, a while, you with, you know, with the team, social media team, PR team, to. talent, like, y- there's always going to be crossover appeals. Look look what happened where they put the clip of um, for Young Rock's new season, and they have put fucking, <laughs> which I don't... That is not believable to me what? at all. What? <laughs> but um, when they had the little kid who uh, who's representing uh, Roman Reigns, oh, it's totally possible. That's what happened. I, I don't really. Young Rock is a autobi- biography. It's it's a documentary. I don't know. I ain't gonna front. Young Rock is one of the best shows on on television, especially. New I'm just glad it's on Peacock. Of, of course it is. Okay, one of the now. best shows. Listen, all right now. Listen, <laughs> listen. All I'm saying is this: The Rock is doing the best he can. He said I'm Roman. Cause think about it, people are gonna Google who's who the hell is Roman Reigns is, and I bet you ratings will go up for. Well, Fox. they already had did that when he had when he had him in the um, Hobbs and Shaw. That's but not count. everybody knew him. How that don't count? That's, that don't count. I don't count. That don't How? count. He because did nothing. He, he didn't, didn't say a word. In he the didn't say word. like two words. And nobody, nobody knew who he was. Knew nobody who like, was like, "Who's that sexy nigga?" That's yeah. it. But, with the spear. But see, but then in asking that question, you look who it up. Who it no, is? You do not. No, no, you do not. Most of the time, you go, "Oh, he's sexy," and then you leave alone. No. You know how bitches be. He did no. nothing no. significant in the movie. He just nothing speared somebody. If went, I see somebody oh. that I do not, not know, Google I do Google it. You gonna Absolutely. put like? Well, the, you do it, not the average person. Exactly. <laughs> what? Okay. What average person? You in the movie? They're like, oh, who's that man that fell in the towel in the back? He's sexy. Let me look him up. No, they do not. Yeah, I want to know in that moment who's so the fuck Janelle, are you? You really Google the extras? <laughs> do you? Like, if it's somebody in the movie that I'm like, yo, who is this? And they have some type of importance. He did have no importance in the movie. Ah, uh, that's the big Oh, he was, what he did. He was not important What in the he movie did. He just speared and went, oh. <laughs> yes, he did. He was a part of the tribe. <laughs> that's it. There was fuck. like, there was a hundred people part of the tribe. He did nothing in, nah. in that movie. He did nothing but in the be, movie. But to be fair, I already know who he was. So actually, that's different. that actually is a Young terrible Rock example. Young did more for him. He Young said, Rock oh, did much more oh, for him. Because they, they, even, they even had a drop down. Exactly. Well, like I was SmackDown. They yeah, had all exactly. the accolades and stuff. They set it up nice. They set it up. Think set about it. it. Nice. They've, think already about play, it. they've been planting seeds from when, about it. from when Roman got booed at that Come Rumble on. in Philly. Oh, that's your cousin? He wrestles right now? Oh, let me Google him right right away. That's instant click obey. Okay. Think about it. You got his, you got his nickname and his real name. Roman. Roman. He's, he's wrestling right now? All right, cool. Let me Google him. Instant. Okay. Think about it. Put them on way better. You can't ask me because I already know who the fuck it is. So at that point, it it, it doesn't. It's irrelevant. But his marketing for is me. way better though. Okay. I mean, to me, they had art. Like I said, they already planted seeds from that. And Rumble think about situation, it. The so. casual fans who only watch Young Rock, they advertise Roman Reigns. Like, wait, I remember this from Young Rock. They're gonna run that clip. Casual fans, yes. Come on, dogs. Casual fans, yeah. Come on, son. But other I, than I don't want to see it though. But still, why not? Really? I don't. 
because everyone I think they missed they sh- I think for me it, it should have happened already but what? I get it um Rock versus Roman yeah you, they missed it how I didn't say they missed it I just I was I would have anticipated it maybe maybe one or two many years ago no, Maybe. no, he wasn't. He Roman. was. He wasn't the tribal chief. He name. has two belts, bro. He Over is the undisputed. He on. is like the the king of WWE right now. And then you do it in LA, Hollywood. If they fuck, but you remember. But remember, two years ago, what till twenty twenty? So this year's no, twenty twenty's mania was supposed COVID. to be right, but. It was supposed they, to they be this year. They swapped it. It was supposed LA to be LA was supposed to be this year. I know that. And, and but the thing about So that's why in my mentality world, that's why I'm like, oh, Yeah, okay, I understand what cool. you're saying, but the thing about so COVID it, the caused build, it. The, the build up was is is top tier no, right now. I, I'm not I'm Lord. not disagreeing. I'm not saying that, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever. You are the one that said you're not it, it is what it is. Much, no, it is perfectly hype. It is LA. Everybody you have up about it. The, the, one of the biggest faces in sports entertainment in Hollywood. No, 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 no. I like the idea. I'm not against it, but it's just like I think you won't shut the fuck up about this. Catch I mean, me. but when you're exci- when you're excited about something, no, you talk right about no. it all no, the time. It's good, but it's annoying. No, but I'm just every I'm minute just saying, on screen. But, oh, Rock, when he's coming out to the Tatum, the Rock, like but every what I'm, minute, it's but annoying. But what I'm saying is, is that when you are excited about something. Don't you talk about it all the time? Yes, but like okay, not every. So t- just because like, example, it's not you see, being oh, okay, on I that excited that. spot. Like for example, I want to see Darby Allen versus Sting. Not every week I watch it. The hill turns. It's coming now. The hill turns coming but now. That's that's, that, that's you. Other people, like, other people no, get I'm hyped about that. shit. Listen, if it is the best I'm thing going saying, right now <laughs> without <laughs> going. You know what it is? <laughs> Everywhere I go, I hear it. Everywhere I talk about, I'm looking like yo, bro. Yes, because it's the hype about it. Because to be honest, think of it like. I don't want to say that. So like don't Olympics. complain about part timers taking off the main event then. My nigga, I. I don't mean, not you, not I've you. I've been not had you. an issue not you. when no, no, not the you. CM Punk shit. No, that no, was not terrible. You. Not you, but everybody complains about it. But yet, you selected a few who you like to come back. Because Correct. it makes sense. But Rock For coming example, back that time made I'm zero sense. I'm talking about this time. Okay. It's, it's the bloodline. It makes it perfect sense. Make sense. The it only reason why it makes sense this time is because this nigga, think of it like. Like, whatever video game you like. And you have all these missions and shit. Right. And he's literally completed every mission but this one. Okay. Because it hasn't it hasn't hit his, like, his like your game yet. You haven't hit that level yet. He's at that point now where he's at that level where this is the only, this is the only person left. And Listen, <laughs> this is what's going to happen. Cody wins the money in the bank. Yo, Cody. And then he robs this nigga at WrestleMania. That's the only I way. I, oh, yo, I bro. Go. Bro, bro, that is I, what's going to happen. I Cody wins money in the bank. I am dead. Boop! He wins it. That makes more sense. I'd rather have then to Then WrestleMania Yo, happens. Yo, why do they always do that to that nigga? The tribal chief comes up. He puts his armor on Adrenaline. his he, he, he just beat him. <laughs> and then you see Cody running down. From the no, you No, you get the whole entrance. You don't get the run out. No, 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 no. No, no. He's, he's stealing it. He's not running. He's not running. He's not running. He's not. No, Cody is, is, is he's the presentable. He's he's presentation. He's not running. No, no, no he's, he's not, not running. No, no because, it, it, because he's stealing walk. it from him. Come on, son. Cody's not, not walking. No. That nigga is having What lion sees his prey? He's going to walk to it. Nah, he's going to get him. Yeah, what lion sees his prey and walks to it? No, you try to snatch it real quick. Come on, dude. Nah. Cody's definitely going to You going to walk, up. look at him? No, this is WrestleMania. He's going to come Y'all up. Y'all already went over this. He's going to come up. Janelle, you know, you'll be the first he's, one to complain. He's gonna Why are you walking so fast? Why are you walking so slow? No, up, I, do, I definitely would not say that. I've never complained. Oh, you better do that, son. I've never you complained do that, about Taker taking 20 minutes to walk down the aisle. that's your favorite. But I've never complained about that. The only time I ever said was like when Roman comes out and it's just like, I need people that talked about Taker to talk about that nigga because it's about the same. That I always said keep the same energy. I've never complained about niggas coming down. To me, entrances are everything. So you say that Cody, Roman is beating up. He going to walk. Why? Why not? It's his time. He takes his time. No, it, it doesn't. It takes, it's it, WrestleMania. It takes, like, it, it takes unless away. he has his own match. It takes a, it takes away the whole point of money in the bank. Right. It, it takes away of cashing in on on the spot. You have to run to the ring. 
Like this is going to be a moment. If they if they don't have Oh, what if they teased it and he doesn't cash it in yet? I don't okay. care. Okay. He just needs to pop up at Mania after he wins with the with the thing. Regardless, this is a moment. Cuz this Mania was one of the best Manias ever overall. Yeah. yeah. And they need to continue this trend. Shout out to AEW for putting a foot on niggas necks. Shh. Shh. Uh-huh. No, it's true. Okay. Because niggas niggas could get two mil somewhere else. Yeah, yeah it, but... it, it's, at the end of the at the end of the day, the reason why it was so good was because they they put in so much work into that into that mania, and they and they really made it a super. To me, it felt like a big fucking deal with being being there and and like and like watching it back. See, but I think the difference is is that because people will complain about other manias, and it's a very big and it's not. I don't want to say it's a bias, but when. When you're there versus you're watching it on TV. No, I watched it on TV. Very two, but very two different experiences. It is two different experiences, but the thing about it, it felt like a big deal because of what they did and what they were, the hype around. Well, they were very, and that's what I can appreciate sometimes in wrestling. They were very strategic, and like I always, I always emphasize this, even as for on on a promoter side of things. The placement of matches matters. We know that, yeah. Period. No, people don't know that. We may know that. We understand that concept because we put on a show. To the average fan, to the casual fan, they're not going to think of those optics. When you match place certain things, it has a certain flow. The only thing I felt like they they missed the curve was that Charlotte and Ronda thing because everybody was exhausted after Cody. It, like that sucked the entire energy out of that out but of that again, stadium. Like, be honest, did it give off the energy? What energy? Energy, like. Did they give up that they want to be there? No, because Ron, Ronda was bad. No, Ronda was trash. Exactly. Ronda no, was bad. but it doesn't help, though. Like, you were... Think of it like... Like, it's unfortunate that that title match was the calm down match. Like, you have to cool, think... Cool, of- but even though it was a calm down match, you can't watch it after. Because there's been matches No, nah, I'm where, not watching that shit. But the thing about it, it's also... It's also I don't think it was supposed to be the calm down match. I don't either. But and the thing about it, it was thing. just bad. Yeah. that And that was the thing. That's why them going into this I quit match, like, I... I would be highly upset if Charlotte said I quit. I would be on a technical. I would be on a fuming if wrestling, they did that shit. Wrestling wise, the wrestling wasn't bad. It's just that it lacked like um, yeah. Well, the thing was is that Charlotte was carrying the whole damn match. Well, of course, <laughs> so she couldn't do that. Listen, a match deserves two people. But it, it's but, a dance. But even if you're carrying, even if you're carrying the match, my niggas doing just, selfies. No, but think about it, even <laughs> if it, if you're carrying the match, you still gotta. The other person still has to be, be charismatic in the match, mm-hmm. sell the stuff mm-hmm. and make it feel real. That was but the I will say that that I, so that's why they I I I don't like the corner that they back themselves in with that I quit match. I I don't. Well, she got to earn these checks. Don't really care. There's for no that. corner in the back. It is pretty easy. Just like I quit. I quit. Like it's simple. They set up the story. Hey, I made you tap out at WrestleMania. The ref didn't see. So yeah, you know what? There's no escaping this. I'll make you tap. But making someone tap and someone say like I just can't. And seeing how they've built Charlotte Flair, I can't even vision seeing her saying I quit. Listen. Like, that that would bother me. This is the same company that ended on um, Take a Street. We couldn't see that, right? Oh, no. That was eventually going to happen. <laughs> Sorry, so I didn't like, want it to happen. I didn't, at the time, I was upset. At the time, I didn't think Brock was going to like was the person for it. But all good things do come to an end. Exactly. So and I wasn't mad about it now. Every great needs the I quit moment. Triple H has it. Every great heel has it. The Miz have it. That's how you progress your character. Is that so? You think say, uh, Charlotte Flair saying "I quit" is going to progress her character? Yeah, it's no, make Ron, fun of. Ronda that's a story. Gonna say I quit. It could be Ronda, or if Charlotte does it, oh, that could get Ronda. Do you think if Charlotte says "I quit," is that going to build her character? Well, she's not going to. But if, but come on, it doesn't hurt her exactly. It's because it's, Charlotte's like borderline bulletproof. Exactly. Mm. The, the only reason why I don't say it hurts her because. Of Ronda Rousey's past. Exactly. Like, Ronda Rousey's, like, pedigree of, like... And guess what? She has enough wins in her belt. It's not about wins and losses, though, at that point. Like, for me, it's the... I, I just don't... I'm not talking about... How do you come back from that? Write a different story. That's it. It's not that hard. It's just like, I'll c- compare it to basketball sense. LeBron lost to the Warriors. He came back and won. It's, stop overcomplicating. Won during COVID. He didn't face the Warriors in in in, in the COVID era. No. no. Well, I, basketball's not my shit, so I don't even know. So, 
So you like, like, he's different experience. So, like, I have no idea. Is, so like, it, like it doesn't matter. So how would you build that back up then, if it was you? Simple. She lost. That's it. Of health. That's it. Yeah. And after that, she won. You carry on. You you, you just you so on. she so so Charlotte says I quit, and Ronda has the title. Now we push to SummerSlam. Okay. Does Charlotte get the title back? Sure. It's two seconds of hell. That's it. You are you up the ante. That's it. I'm gonna make you quit. And I'm also gonna beat your ass. That's it. It's not that hard. No, it's you can't say it's not that hard because we can all, you know, put these ideas in. But how it actually happens, it doesn't mean that it's the easiest thing in the book either. Like for example, like for example, the Patriots, like um. For example, Tom Brady lost last year, right? Come back and win. That's the, that's the narrative. That's it. Yo, side note about that. You just reminded me that. Yo, did you know that if Brian Flores didn't come out with that lawsuit, then Tom Brady was going to be part owner of the Miami um, Dolphins? Really? Yep. Who said that? It was on the news. I read it. It was an article I read wow. not too long ago that, um, yeah, that basically – when Flores had put that lawsuit out, it like turned everything upside down in Miami, and Tom was like, "I don't want that smoke." So then he said, "Well, fuck it, I'll just go back and play." Well, which is the wildest thing. It was super sidebar, guys. But I just was like, as everybody that knows me knows, I love. But yeah, some but football, nevertheless, so. though, it's not that hard. To, like people just overcomplicated wrestling. That's it. She lose like Triple H. You think Triple H like you, like think people still talk about when Triple H tapped out to Kurt Angle? No. It happens. It matches. It happens. See, but I guess you got to really remember those things, too. Exactly. They, they, they got to be memorable moments. Exactly. So, like, my favorite. Fi- the plan would have been Brady to retire from... The plan would have been Brady to retire from the Buccaneers. Peyton resigned from the Saints. Sean Payton. Mm-hmm. And then Peyton would have been the head coach. And, and then joined forces in Miami. Mm-hmm. Brady would take a high-ranking job as an executive, serving been, as yep, a foray exactly. from mm-hmm. the field into the, into the front office. Wild. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. I mm-hmm. thought I, I, I know he was gonna um, be an owner. Whatever. Yeah, it was like some type of. It was. Like, I know he. They it was were trying in to bring that. Them together. It was in that realm because when Peyton decided to not resign with the Saints, he was really technically gonna take a year, but he was gonna go and be head coach, and in not Miami, not, and friend. then and then that was gonna be a whole trifecta type yeah. of thing. But Flores was the catalyst of all that shit. <laughs> oh yeah, Flores. So the shit is a whole wrench in the, in, in the machine. You yeah. probably knew that. No, I don't no, he probably was just like, I'm tired of niggas not getting opportunities. <laughs> so he was like, fuck it. Cause then that happened and then and then NFL decided that all teams have to hire at least one like a female in as an executive and on their like in their office. That became a thing. Like it was a domino effect, a whole bunch of shit. But that's a sidebar, guys. Um, what else is going on in wrestling? This week has once again been really kind of like mellow, but I do want to talk about NXT 2.0, not just yet. I do want to talk about some other things before we get to there because that niggas is missing out. I'm just gonna we go, we gonna put that on the table. Niggas is missing out on NXT 2.0. And the it was best like, the best show this week was AEW because I watched both. Now AEW was really good mm-hmm. wrestling wise. AEW was really the tag good. team match. Um, Powerhouse Hobbs versus um top tier bros. Top Fire. tier. Top tier. Fire. And I said this before. I usually don't say this, but I'll say this again. They missed the boat on Swerve, WWE. Yeah. But then again, Swerve wasn't Swerve. No, but still, even the even nah, the even yeah. the even the watered down version they had on it on the on, on WWE. Shane he, is super talented. There, there's no denying that. No, but it was it's it's like that's the one release that I'm just like, oh. Y'all fucked up on that one. <laughs> they did, but I felt like this firing made him who he is right now. No, it's fine, but I'm just saying, like, you're seeing like how talented he is. Yeah, he like he's face, the, he could be healed. But he but he's the only people that the only person that I've seen that like has come over and made them regret not keeping him. I mean, think about what Swerve is doing, like he make everyone else around him look good. Yeah, like even that that moonsault off of Keith Lee's fucking chest. He got that off of um 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 Seth Rollins. Yeah, he did it before once in NXT. Yeah, but Seth Rollins did it off a, a fan, and like he like and attacked the guy. Yeah, yeah, but that shit was hard. It was hard. It was hard. Like the whole match was hard. It was very hard hitting. Shout out to Will Hobbs. You know, I see you with the Shout suit out game. To, yeah. Will Hobbs. That's one of my, my favorite good old, wrestlers. Good old buddy. Will Hobbs. He's glad he got a W because niggas just be Will Hobbs balling. have ball headed energy. B. He's ball headed nigga in spirit. B. Because his facial expressions. Like, he, he got. <laughs> he's a ball headed nigga. Paul Hobbs is an honorary ball-headed nigga in my I'm book, I'm dead. 
Um, <coughs> that was a good match. You know, I enjoyed that match. I enjoyed. I I don't know. Like I was saying before, we all everybody that you're a fan, you have diff, you have particulars that you enjoy in wrestling in the wrestling world. So we were talking about it before we went live, and I kind of want to bring it to the forefront because I think it is a really good conversation. Word. Where like I'm really big on story. Mm. I'm really big on drama. Mm. I'm very because that's how I I was brought into wrestling. Mm. Like no matter the company, at, in mid nineties, late nineties, no matter the company, the story, yeah, everybody had a story. Everybody had drama. E- everything just went up, down, up, down. And and that's kind of what I gravitate to. You were saying that for you, it's the promos. Yes, that's why you didn't hit for me. Talk about it. His promo sucked. <laughs> but why? What about it? It was just bad. <laughs> it wasn't good. It wasn't. It wasn't. Top tier, and I'm not saying I cut the best promos in the world, but like, I mean, he'll probably get better with it. But the shit wasn't good. So right now, no matter the company, who's the top three people that can do promos, in your opinion? Technically speaking, it's MJF, Roman right now because he's being himself. Um, we can go Miz. I think Ziggler's up is up there. Um, who else? I can't stand Punk, but Punk is can cut a promo. Okay. Okay. I, 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 um, I what about you? That I said five, but it's fine. I That's mean, fine. Roman, he hasn't cut a promo that I, like I can go back and watch it ever. It's just like it's cool for the moment. Like, all right. I guess Roman. So it's not memorable, is what you're saying? No, you don't say nothing memorable that make me go. Oh, that's bars. You know, um, um, for me, my favorite promos. God, I love, I love hearing is um, is between Moxley and um, um, Eddie Kingston. Oh, I forgot Eddie Kingston. Uh, Eddie when that nigga says, "It's on site." I was like, um, "Yes." Moxley, every and, and, and Kingston. Um, there is Lockhart. I love his promos, V. I love that man promos, V. Like, I feel like, I'm like, dang, son. He's all he, he, he about the Rainbow Coalition. Bring everyone together in his promos, man. I love it. Um, I would say The Miz, but I feel like The Miz got too factory over the years. He's not as a gritty. So I got I to got, I get the edge to code. I think it depends on the person he's, he's, he's talking to. He doesn't have that sh- um, ship on his shoulder no more. There's no edge to it no more. Like, before, he had something to prove. Like, when he was IC champion after that day, he never got to respect something to prove. Every time Miz has something to prove, he's better. Him, His wife versus John, John Cena at WrestleMania, something to prove. So he put his best work. Now, I feel like he's just going to cruise control. Even uh, even him, the big promo was him and Edge. Everybody went crazy. I'm looking like, this is mid for the Miz. Super mid. This is not his best work. So this is why, like, even I like the Miz, but to me, his work got mid. Um, CM Punk. Um, I love his promo work. And for me, lastly, Ricky Starks. I feel like every time Ricky Starks is on the mic, it's captaining. You know, you get a joke, you get serious, and every time he says something, you believe it. Him going against Keith Lee, he's going to find a way. And he also tells stories within the ring where, like, his selling, his little stuff that he does to make you believe that, oh, I want to watch the next match of him. You know, like, I get what you said about Eula. He's not great on the mic, but he told the story within the ring. Right there, we had Moxley like this, but but that, oh. but, but, but 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 that's not even though they, they took that from Stone Cold, but that's a different conversation. Um, Wrestling's just like what? Him, so it's fine. Don't do that. They Don't take, do they that. take that spot from Stone Cold. What? From Stone Cold and Bret Hart. What? When he had him in a sharpshooter and he's bleeding. Cody did it, and he took it from Stone Cold. Everyone <laughs> does it. Yeah, they took it from Stone Cold. <laughs> Everyone does it. They copy matches. But a res- lot. We all do. So I'm just saying where they got it from. And you know I'm right. He's just using it as a reference. That's, that's why you go, that's oh, well, well, Cody did it. Well, because the niggas all do Everybody it. Everybody does <laughs> it. Yeah, and they took the iconic moment because they want to make him look like he's iconic. He's great in the ring. I get it. He's fucking great. He can go. I said it before. He should be signed. But can't cut a promo. They ain't writing on cut a so, promo at first. Yeah. It takes time for everything. Time and, and the thing about it, I'm not saying you're not going to get better. And now okay, you got so time now, to really so, rock. So now flip it. Who's the, at the bottom? Come on, man. Look, there's a bunch of niggas at the bottom. Do I don't okay. want to do that. There's a bunch of niggas at the bottom. There's a lot of niggas like, oh, my God. A lot of the, sad to say, a lot of female wrestlers cannot come from almost. Okay, let's talk about it. A lot of them. A lot of them, I'm not believable. Tay Conti, trash. <laughs> yeah, trash. Yeah, we'll go with him. Tay Conti, trash. Can't come from almost, but yeah. 
trash. Hey, you can't call I don't even listen. To and, and the thing, is, and the thing is not even. And, and, and I don't want nobody to say, "Oh, it's the uh, accent." <laughs> Will Hobbs, shout out to he's just at watching right now. Who, like, Will Hobbs, you were missing. Of course, yeah. But the thing about it, she she, she can't cut a promo. Yeah. Uh, who else can't cut one? All right. I'm going to get some shit for this one. Say no, it. this is good. Sasha Banks can't cut a probe as a face. Hell no. Yeah, no. Hell no. 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 Can't if cut you, a probe go, as a if face. you go back to the NXT Not days when she wasn't here. You're my girl. However, comma, I'm glad she said that, though. No. 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 I, I, I'm going to get away the from the women. The black girl in I, I, me was like, I'm yes, get, that, a, that is your girl. And you better protect I'm, her. I'm going to get, get away from the, the women. The women rest is too easy. Too I'm going to get, get away from the women because I feel Not like. Not super side note, as much grief people give Natty at times, that shit on NXT had me. Natty's a baddie. We will not disrespect Natty. Yo, I was locked. We're She's gonna talk about NXT because it's super important. We gotta talk about do. NXT. But she had me ooh. locked in. That's what I'm talking about. To the point where I was just NXT like, NXT builds stars. Why the fuck she can't do that regularly? <laughs> like, because she fuck. was a heel. It's easy to play a heel. Exactly. What do not people understand? And I keep saying this. It is easy to play a heel. It is so easy to play a heel. There's easy to play a heel, but then it's easy to play a badass baby face. Nobody, it's very hard to play a legit baby face to get it over. Because being nice, niggas don't know how to be nice. Niggas don't like nice. Niggas well, don't like- no, no. It depend- Again, as I said a couple weeks ago, it depends on your region. Because if you go in the South, they appreciate the, the, like, the nice guys. It's about your culture. But you're talking about the South, meaning like... Outside of like people who watch big, big like time big wrestling, promotion. Like, big like, promotion, like 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 small independent promotions that run weekly in in the Carolinas and stuff like that. Yes, because, they totally fall but, in love but, with but, the baby. But, face. The, but the problem is they like the baby face because the baby face lives down the block from them. But on top of that, they because, can touch them. Yeah, but they're trained to. To, to cheer the baby. No, face. it's not. It's not no, even. I that. don't think they're trained to do that. That's just naturally what yeah, they do. Yeah, because they like nice people in the no, south. No, no, it's not even that. It's because they live down the block from them. True. So, so, so you, so in heels, for instance. Okay. When you watch heels, the biggest thing was like he was like, you can't be a baby face because you're an asshole in real life. Everybody sees you as an asshole. True, but I just feel like yo, it's easier to be a baby face. Be it may be, but I really believe it's because the motherfucker lives down the block from Look you. Look at Zuka. People, but no, no, hold on, wait, no, no, no. People boo him, but yet outside, you know, shout to, um, sorry to break the fourth wall, guys, but yet, what's up, Zuka? How you doing, bro? That's because they her. like wrestling. They and like then her, also, yeah. have you seen Zuka's face? That nigga look like a heel. Yeah. But I will uh, break <laughs> Point it, made. continue bringing down the fourth wall, one of the sweetest guys yes. that I know. I don't give a fuck about <laughs> him being sweet. <laughs> like, I'm talking about have you seen this nigga's face? But however, I could never, in knowing him, I can never, I never would want him to play a face. Ever. Have you his seen his Ever. face? <laughs> Zuka King looks like, like a heel. Oh, he look sneaky. He look like he about to fuck you over. He, he, he look like he about to beat yes, you up. Yes, but he's a total he opposite. He look like he, okay, yeah, right, total that's opposite. Example. That's a bad example. <laughs> um, a lot of guy has punchable faces. That's like, hilarious. Like um, Darius Carter, can't stand him. You know, um, O'Shea, punchable faces. You know, no, O'Shea don't have punchable faces. Light eyes, he ain't got punchable faces. Like he had, to he me, he does because I don't like him. <laughs> like, but like um, said, but okay, going back to the talking. bottom of the barrel okay. for promos. We're not talking about women's because that's too easy for me. It's Ty Conte. I'm, I'm not taking off my list. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, Sasha has a fa- Sasha. I love Sasha, but as a face, she's she's bad. Um. I would go. Who I would say. It's kind of hard because everybody's mostly mid. Yeah, mid. <laughs> mid. Most people are mid. mid yeah. Nobody's bad. Yeah, yeah, no are mid. Sure? Like no, who? Who's bad? I'm just asking. There's a lot of sure? mid people. Like ah, everybody's mid. Like even you, you're good enough to even get on Wheeler. He's just mid and borderline yeah. bad. Yeah. Because if you can pronounce it, No. Ah. Uh, I would, yeah. As English, it's Spanglish, all the all of the above. I'm not that watching. Actually is a good point. I'm not watching AAA. It's a good point to the point where it's like you want so good for him, like, and it aggravates me that first of all they still don't know how to pronounce this nigga's fucking name every fucking week. It it's it beyond me. But on top of that, it's like it's half broken sentences. Oh, sting. Don't talk about Steve like that. Don't talk about Steve like that. Don't talk about Steve like that. That's why. So <laughs> no, I just realized that. Okay. That nigga can't cut a okay. promo. No, if you go back in the 90s. He said he can't cut a promo. 
Come on. Y'all, need, y'all, y'all really capping it. for this nigga. Yo, go y'all back. really capping you, for this nigga? If you go back to Colorful Sting. You're a hater. Uh, and, and y'all really capping for this nigga? <laughs> Y'all really capping for this nigga. No, I, I, will, I, I will never. Y'all really capping I, for this nigga Sting, son. Wait. Will, if you're still watching, who do you think has the worst part? He can't I, say shit like that. Yo, Stop no, don't that. put him in that position. Man, don't you try tell, to lose his job? Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to know. Sting can't cut a promo. You're a hater, dogs. But y'all didn't say no. No. no I'm not saying no, 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 no or I'm yes. Not. <laughs> <laughs> not doing that to Steve. Nope. Mm-mm-mm. The nigga can't cut a promo. Yeah. What are you talking about? Not the nigga can't that. cut a promo. And you know who Loki can't cut a promo either? Because he, he just never uh, like got better at it? Hogan. In this no, era, because his, no. his promos his are shit trash. Was, no, his shit was like, it's like auto, rinse, repeat. Like, it was yeah. just like, it always started and ended the same no. way. No, could I think about and it I back like, in the what day? The fuck are you talking when I was about? a kid, Fire. that shit was hitting. Fire. Ooh. That shit was hitting. Ooh, wow. That did not make me want to take any vitamins. But then again, <laughs> nigga, you, nigga, you don't like lifting weights, nigga. Wait, wait, wait. I did. I, I said I want to be like this, that nigga. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that he can't cut a pro because he's low key racist? No, it has nothing to do with that. What? No, 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 no. Because, because once we find out he's really racist, we start nickpicking him, dog. No, 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 no. no. Almost, okay. No, no, no. Let's take out. Let's take no, out Terry. The only time, no, the only time I will say I, I it was believable was when Hogan was healed. The no, only time, even when he was, it, and, and it, even, it was more bearable when he was healed. Even when, even when he was a face, I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Even, and then Macho Man would come in the ring and he would say some wild shit and then walk out. It was one fucking. Oh, it was a nitro. I'll never forget it because it, it, ni- it, it was nitro. It was nitro, and then the next night it was Clash of Champions. It was Tuesday night. It was Clash of Champions, and fucking Macho won the title earlier that night on Nitro. Won the WCW World Title that night. And he, um, and he, Hogan said, if you win, I got first dibs type of shit. So the next night on Clash of Champions, he was facing Hogan for the title. But Hogan, midway through Nitro, had came out. Fucking Mean Gene was in the ring. He cut a promo. <laughs> fucking Macho Man came in the ring, was on some like, the fuck is you talking about? Said what he said and walked out. <laughs> and then Hogan ran after him. It was the wildest thing, but it was just like, what? <laughs> Y'all niggas is all over the place. But that's what I'm saying. It's, okay, Hogan as a heel, it still wasn't good. It was more bearable for me. It still for wasn't me. good. Be, and it's not. And the thing about it is because he never evolved. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this. At one point, that was The Rock. Nigga, that was the beginning. No, when he did it, when he came back and he was saying certain things... To Cena when they're in, the, in, in their back and forth, I was like, Ah, uh, he dropped it because he was rusty. He was rusty. I, I, I said, I said, so ooh. I, I gave, I we said gave ooh. him a pass. I said, Ooh, they say they hit the way it's supposed to be hitting. Because when John Cena would always come back, it, it would hit. You'd be like, but then, ah. I, but then he got he got better with it. Okay. But Hogan never got better. Okay. He never elevated. He never so elevated who, his stuff. Who else in the game has not elevated? Ric Flair. I don't think he needed to. You don't talk about nothing new. Sting, <laughs> nigga, Shut trash. Up. Rick, Rick Flair never elevated. Shut up. Trash. I can't relate to like you know um, Space Mountain. I, I can't relate to Space Mountain. You I can't never... relate to fucking bitches. Space Mountain. Why are you using the verb is Space Mountain? That's bad old. Elevate your game, and no, because everybody and knows books, what it is. And nobody. What, what would and, you like, replace it with? <laughs> yo, mad stuff. You know, be creative. That's why yeah. you say you cut promos. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay. Think about it. You know, nobody. I rises got no away. problem with space. Nobody. Out. Ray Mysterio can't really cut promos. Ray Mysterio never talks, so that yeah. that actually is it hinders and so recently, why he does it. Yeah. It still it hinders. Ricochet is trash. Why, woo, trash. Rigo Booty is woo. Chow. He's just rushing. That nigga can't talk. Shut up and wrestle. Shit. That's equivalent to shut up and dribble. <laughs> he should, yeah, shut up and wrestle. He should, he should yeah. He should <laughs> never, never talk. He should never talk. Which is why I feel like. A lot of like on on the AEW side where there's so many stables because mm-hmm. there's at least one person in the oh, group John that can talk. Uh, ah, he's all right. Johnny Drake I think he's King. mid. I think he's mid. I think uh, he's mid, bro. Because in the beginning, they he, once again, bro. when you have a manager or you have a valet, that person normally is the is the talker. Bro. So in the beginning, Melina will always talk for them bro. niggas. You've been champion, literally everywhere. You were Johnny Pluto, Johnny Galaxy. You know how to cut a, 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 a promo yet? I said he's mid. He's okay. He's passable. It's not like, and once again, I think. Promo wise, he's C. Plus. Yes, yeah, I'll take that, take that over D, aka Sting. Yeah, you want to stop disrespecting Steve like this, okay? It's not okay. Uh, <laughs> Sting can't cut a promo, dogs. 
keep saying this shit. But is it more because of the mystique of himself? No, even in the 90s, he couldn't cut a promo. He didn't have to. The nigga was in the Raptors. You think they I'm talking give about the him... 90s. You That's think... the 2000s. That was late about, 90s. I'm talking about that Surfer was, Sting. That was, okay, you're talking about Colorful said, Sting. Michael Bosch said Drew. Drew. Oh, shit. Dry ass Drew, Drew is trash. He, he, he's trash. Bad. He's mid. He's Thank not bad. You. No, he's trash. He's mid. He's, ooh. he's not bad. Ooh. He's like, he's like. Um, and he got to get rid of that sword. I'm I'm over that shit. But it pops the crowd. It, it doesn't pop me, but I don't it know why. don't pop, Listen, yeah. he had a toy with a sword and a motorcycle. WWE, stop doing that shit. Just put random vehicles with people to sell toys. <laughs> I like it. No, that's actually great product. No! That's like actually it. a really good marketing Yo, strategy. Yo, you use it one week and it's appeared. If you want to introduce an ATV, it, come on, B. Be a part of it. They didn't make a trombone toy, but they make ATVs. Where did they make ATVs at? For the toy. For the toys. So they ride ATVs. Oh, okay. Biggie was on ATV. He never had ATV in its own entrance. Why you have ATV all of a sudden? Make it make sense. Oh, it was a gift. That's why. But let them rock with the gift for a while. To understand, but that like, was okay. a part of the story when he gave him the gift and then the next week they fucked it up because it was his gift. That made sense. I'm I not don't... buying that. Well, it didn't hit for you, but it made sense. Like the ATV was not even that color schemes. It was like an ATV had to picked up from it, like it was Brooklyn. A, but it was a gift. It didn't have to it didn't have to fit him. It was a if, gift from Kobe. If you know the new day, they know that they're extra with their gifts. You know that they would have uh, decked it out. The ATV was a little extra. It wasn't even itself. no color scheme. It had no new day, nothing on there. That was the point because they knew it was going to get fucked up. Right. <laughs> That's why I said. I'm just saying. It was a gift. You you want more extra on that one. And it was just like, it did its purpose. Is there food at the place tonight? Uh, I don't think so. It's a bar. They don't got bar food? I don't know. I've never been there. Who eat bar food at a concert? Bro, well, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's Ramadan it's, yeah. for me right now. Well, yeah, yeah, he right, got to right, eat right. like after eight o'clock, or he gonna pass out. But I mean, there's stuff around there because I know it's not random. Sorry. Oh, oh anyone shout- that's watching on the live feed tonight, um, we se- we're gonna uh, we sponsor. We're gonna celebrate. Um, welcome to the Raw Zone's fifth year anniversary. They have a showcase tonight featuring Live Johnson, Ebony Eyes, and of course. Hit Michael my, Bostick hit himself. Up, hit up Michael Bostick and ask him if they got food. Well, there. ask him. Michael Bostick. Well, he probably Yo, don't Michael know Bostick. either. I know my Seamoss brother. He don't know either. Know That's why we C-Moss, always C-Moss, make sure that. My Seamoss. But is there food there, my nigga? That's Shout why to Michael Bostick. I always AKA, eat before you. You know, I have places. wrestling practice before. Well, that's why you gotta start carrying around fucking snacks. I don't know. You, you don't all want fucking eat before people. Wrestling practice. No, no, you can't eat before wrestling practice. You don't practice. want to. You, like, no, you can't. You get cramped out. Yeah, I'm just saying. I have very short time because I have to go from Jamaica. No, I hear you. I, I I'm here with you. But what I'm saying is, for you, you gotta start carrying snacks. I think I have some, but I want food, food. Well, then DoorDash it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> At that point, you don't eat before wrestling practice. Like even now, like I hate eating. Like if how it, has training been for you? Oh, it's, it's, it's those great. that are watching and do not know, our very own Mr. Black has begun his journey in training to become a referee, which is really really dope. Um, my main guy shout out to the fallout shout out to the other side I want to do like, I want yeah, to be manager he man- yeah so he's trying to break into the business yeah, it's like um, so actually, how is it I actually what's the highs and lows the highs is the people yeah the people are just bunch. like very it's like a supportive bunch of kids there. they clap for you this out of them like, like well, um, we help each other out like we give each other tips like somebody taught me how to run the ropes you know fuck I forgot this dude's name he said that when you run the ropes Abushi said he lifts up his right foot because because like, like, you got to leave your right foot. So I kind of pick up my right foot to get running ropes a lot better. Okay. Um, I took bumps. Like, taking a bump, I actually like it. But you said that before. Is that weird? So, like, I no. Just, ooh, I love taking bumps, B. No, I think, once again, it's an adrenaline rush. I think it's something that when you – it's something that you want. You even, a, even the coach looked at me, he was like, for real? I was like, I love it. Do it again. Because he picked me up like a scoop slam. I was like, do it again. I love it. I was like, ooh, I love it. Okay, it's a little problematic, but, you know. You know, like, I know how to <laughs> – Somebody um, got to learn some ways. I know how to tie up now, too. Pretty simple. A lock lot up? of shit. You mean I'm supposed to say lock up? Tie up, lock up. Yeah, yeah. I'm not do that. You know, I take a proper bump. You know, I know how to do like with somebody. I so you got to lock up with Savannah. Happy belated to yes, Savannah. Happy, happy, Savannah. happy belated to Yaya, our Jabba Tia you know, Yaya, the All one. fucking Aries is wild. Jabba is one. So when so, I do so this, that's responded. for Yaya. Are they going to have food? Though? Oh my God. He probably don't know. The one. When I do this, that's for I Yaya. Doubt it. Look at the bar. I don't even know where it's at. Oh, Lord. Shout out to Dirty Hills. Shout yeah, out to Dirty guys. Hills will be in the building too tonight. Shout out to Backstage Bro. Um, oh, shout out to um, shout out to um, what's the girl's name? Shout out to um, not Kiki. Uh, 
So I was just Stephanie Hardy. Like I feel yes, like she did something. Yes. Um, if you are friends with the lovely Stephanie Hardy, she has been nominated for, I believe, Best Podcast Best in Alabama. Podcast in Alabama. Alabama. Shout out to Stephanie so Hardy. So make sure to vote for her. Um, shout out to Nasty Leroy. Shout out to Jabba Tears South. You know, shout out to all them guys out there. Shout out to Danielle Pretty Hills. Absolutely. Black uh, Wrestle Fest, June oh, weekend. Oh, we almost forgot, man. 420, you know. 420, yes, Woman Crush Wednesdays. If you haven't already purchased your tickets. Link um, in the description <laughs> below. Um, next Wednesday, well, this coming Wednesday, um, 420, we make our return to Brooklyn. Um, Battle Club Pro presents um, Woman Crush Wednesday 2. Um, the main event Shout will be. Shout out to Lala for coming to our wrestling event. Shout out to her. I forgot to say it was all to her. Which Lala? Lala. Um, Lala's World from over YouTube. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, it's a few Lala's out here in, the, in this. Shout out to our winner oh, of wow. our. Uh, oh, yeah, he was su- super cute with taking those photos and stuff. Yeah, that was real that. dope. That was dope. Whoa, if you get an attitude era championship. Nah, you got to sport that shit. Yeah. You got to sport it. So, no. Um, but, yeah, make sure that you can purchase your tickets. If anybody um, below. wants to sponsor a match, we do have a few matches left to sponsor, so you can contact me directly for that. Um, but other than that, yeah, uh, we're super excited. Uh, once again, the main event would be Trisha Dora versus Big Swole. Uh, we have um, Lady Frost on the card. Speaking we have Tasha Steeles on the card. Um, and then there will be an, a dope all men's pre-show. Um, right before Women Crush Wednesday 2 begins. So uh, make sure to come out and support. Of course, um, man. Are you looking for a school? <laughs> you too want to be a wrestler? You too want to make difference in the wrestling right, community? Absolutely. You know, Fallout Shelter. Building future wrestlers of doing it today uh, or either, tomorrow. He could either be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! or sleep. <laughs> it's what oh, it is. They, <laughs> I found out. They have, they have food. Oh, what kind of food? There you go. It's just... It's bar tater. food. It's bar food. It is what it is. Okay. I was like, Not but there's water. places I think around there. Bruh, I'm in and out. I'm supporting and leaving at 8:45. Well then, I don't know if he's gonna be on at that time. But all right, appreciate you coming out. Um, but all right, this week in wrestling, we had I thoroughly enjoyed NXT Super Bowl, so we're gonna talk about that. I actually also enjoyed the ending of SmackDown last week. What happened the ending? Where Roman Reigns had came out and was like, I'm hungry for gold. I want more. So he's now miss. He's given the mission to the Usos to go after the Raw Tag Team title. But that actually is not what I liked. What I liked was Nakamura coming out and Roman telling him, you know, I heard about boobs. You know, it's so sad. And they gave him a hug. And then they fucked him up. Yes. I was like. This have, is great. I have zero. Because I was like, oh, shit. I have zero investment in this. It hasn't group. even started. <laughs> like, how are you not going to, how you, why, why not? Well, one, it wouldn't have happened unless Booz got injured. So that there's that. So once you get over that part, everybody complains about how Nakamura don't do shit, and now he's, in, now he's possibly doing. It's not interesting. It's not it Nakamura. hasn't happened. It's so not... is your issue Nakamura because. That's what that sounds he like. He doesn't sell me that how that he could be Roman because he, he like he's they, not supposed because to. It, yes, you, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Like that's how you sell the match. Wait, what? But they haven't had a match again. For example, if Kevin Owens would have went up when when against um um uh, Roman Reigns, I'm excited for that because he has been wrestling. Because he has been like putting in the work. Owens. No, I just said it. I said he has been putting in work. He's been consistent on our screens. All right, cool. So who should have been facing him besides Kevin Owens? Well, Nobody Kevin Owens knew. actually is not on that no. brand, so no, 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 no. It could be anybody, but heat them up. You understand? Make them come on. Like, um, if he was IC champion, he was IC for Mad Long. You did nothing significant. You had a Dean Ambrose run with the IC champion. Well, part of that was because he was injured too. You feel me? So it's just like, what's the point? What's the point? But it hasn't happened. I, I think as fans, we we get so. I mean, even granted the whole like, and you are notorious. So that's why I'm surprised. On the let's see what happens movement. So I think as us as fans, we already, you know, the gun trick, you know, once the guns go off, it's like, all right, action, 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 action. Or something has to build up to it instead of actually just enjoying it for face you know value you, and letting it rock out. You know what it is? The bloodline, like, 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 like a lot of storylines got stale. It did. Because if it was, um, if it was Thunderdome area, 
there would have been a great storyline for him to like actually, you know, do what you have to do. You, know, you feel me? There's no story behind it. It don't got me invested. It doesn't bring me to the bar. It hasn't really started yet. No, Th- but that was it. Was like I'm sorry. The risk that the bloodline, the storyline they had in the Dungeon Dome were a lot better. Him versus Kevin Owens, a lot better. Him versus Main Event J, a lot better. Now, oh, nah, Nakamura came. I want to fight you. Hug you. Boom, beat you up. Come on, before. That's hilarious. Like, like, I like, like the drama, so. It would have been better if he's on some, like, yo, you know what? Like, or on some, like, yo, do something. Attack them. You know, because you b- b- got injured. Like, he attacked the Uso. Kicked them. Roman, ah, Roman, for you, Roman, Roman was playing the bully, and he bullied him, and then walked away. That's not enough. It's the first thing. It's, and not everything's going to happen in one shot. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not enough. It, it, they haven't given you anything yet. Is what I'm saying. Exactly, you can't my de- point. you, but you can't make a decision based on potatoes. You're you gotta have me, meat and potatoes. You're giving me bookings, um, cheese sandwiches right now. But they ha- they actually haven't given you anything. It actually just brought you to the table. You gave me a bookings cheese sandwich. They opened the door. They didn't give you, you anything. You gave me yet. a bookings cheese sandwich. I don't. I I disagree. Have you have you ever had bookings cheese sandwich? Well, Mikey makes a mean grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> no, a booking <laughs> cheese sandwich when you're in bookings. Why the fuck would I ever be in bookings? I don't know, Janelle. You know, it's a fun fact with Janelle. But fun fact, though, I went to high school across the street from bookings in the Bronx. But you never had a bookings cheese sandwich. Why? Because I've never been to fucking jail. So you I'm understand sorry. why I have to understand, like, look, it's all about, look, Nakamura, you know the history. You know what's going on with him. Right? And then you give me a book and cheese sandwich, start it off. Make it hot, boy. Make it hot on fire. Feel me? You attack the Uso. But you if you make them. it but if you make it hot immediately, doesn't wouldn't that risk it fusing out quicker? That'll make you step your game up. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to say your 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 signature line, and I'm going to wait and see what happens. I think it'll be good, though. And I, and I think it... I, 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 Ah, nah, fuck that. Ah, no, nah, don't do that when he ah, just said that. No, ah, don't try to co-sign with your nothing. brother shit. I ain't going to say nothing about this. Because it better be hot fire. It, but it's it better not, be hot. It doesn't have to be hot fire. That's but a, you literally just complain about Nakamura not being on TV, not doing nothing, this, that, and a third. They're literally putting him in the title picture for him to be on TV more, for him to do more. You're going <laughs> against a boss right now. You're going against a boss level. If you want to sell this premium live event, you got to make the guy going against the boys believable somehow. Meaning that... Let Which me, means you let have me, to build it up. Again, again, let, let me compare it to video games, right? When you get in the boss, right? If the boss is at level 80, you're not going to go to that level 40 right now. Right now, Sinsuke is at level 40 right now. They're going against a level 80 boss. I, I, I just think they don't have anybody. They don't have anybody right now. Yeah, <laughs> that too. I think that's what it really comes down to. They don't have anybody, and they have to long, long, make it long because Brock is out the picture right now. Yeah. yeah. So they have to make it a, a long. They gotta thing fill it Mania, in, and, na- and, I, and honestly speaking, it goes, it goes with what you were saying with him not being around on TV, him not doing anything. This is giving him the opportunity to do something. But so it's I, very so, lazy. Booking so game. I think to. How is it? it? Nothing's happened yet for it to be lazy booking. If they do a match next week, it's lazy booking. But with a whole pay per view in less than a month, why would they do a? Ma- I said if they do it, if they do it, then, then it's a problem. If they don't, then, then then they cut some more promos and they start to build it up because then it'll be very AEW ish. Like, well, hey, I hate you. Let's fight. What well, well, AEW? Oh, shout out to Ringside Society. I forgot. I, I had an interview with them last week. Oh, shout out to our Cali family out there. Um, lazy. No, what it would AEW's ish is just throwing dream matches and putting on TV with no storyline. They do that. And that's and to, to some people that like that, that is okay. But that's indie booking. Correct. And like I said, we, we keep saying this thousand one time, AEW is, is an indie show on but how do you? But how do you grow? Oh, they do like a little that. stuff. Because you don't notice, like I said before, you don't notice it went from 100 matches to like match, promo, match. Well, no, they, like they, they started, they started changing the format yeah. of how the show is produced. Because stories make, because the thing about it is the ratings were going down. Correct. Nobody was And invested. Tony said that. 
He, he just, admitted it. He said, uh, we had to switch up, which is why they did that whole rampage last week the way that they did. The Reverend was fire last but week. But that was why, because they had put matches people wanted to see, people were invested in on the fucking show, which is why I was think I think the Lord that 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 Hobbs and the match was on dynamite because I was like if that shit would have been on rampage I'd have been like throw it all away. You no, know, no, that's crazy. No, we forgot who the champion is. Who? <laughs> I fucking sleep. Oh shoot. no, we did it because every time they in Texas or every time. Every time Hangman has to prove himself, he got to be in a Texas death match. So it's weird. No, but I'm saying, like, I didn't... Because when the promo popped up for him versus Adam versus Adam, basically, yeah. I was like, holy shit, I forgot he was a champion. It wasn't as an Adam, pay, uh, Adam Cole's promo. But the one thing but I, I was do... Like, oh, like, what okay. that dude said is, when Adam Page is on screen, he does fill up the real estate, though. He, he, he does and he doesn't. He does, yeah, it's, it's 50-50 on I don't that. think I don't think... And it's sad because he's like... He's that babyface champion that I think they that they really want, but it doesn't. He hit. shines. It's weird. He shines more in matches. He doesn't speak more. But, in but matches. the thing about it, he should have been on Dynamite. Yeah, if you're gonna put yeah. like like, you if I, you're I, gonna I, have I, the match next week, right? Next week. No, it's this Friday. Oh shit! That's even worse. It's Friday. It's this Friday. That's what. That's what happened. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because they have Rampage Friday, and then they got that Saturday Night Title shit on on TV on on yeah on oh, TV. Oh, that's so this this Saturday. The Battle of the Belts. Yeah, yeah Saturday. Saturday. Oh, you sure that's not next week? Nope. It's oh, this Saturday. That's good. Yeah. They're getting a lot of TV time. Yeah, because that Nyla and um Thunder and Rosa, Thunder Rosa oh, match, match is on. But it's then on again, Saturday. one thing I hate is <sighs> it's okay to say. Come on. We know. They pigeonhole itself too much. <laughs> because Break that down. All right. The TBS title on Jade Cardell is good, but then it's just like it's stale. But it, it goes back to the to that boss level you were just talking about with Roman. Yeah. Like So when you back she, yourself in that corner. Yeah, she's too much of a boss. Like she's boss level. So now no one else could heat up. Like for example, like Nile Rose could gotta run with the TBS title. But but, but I think I think um I will she's say, but but she's but she's now she has Red Velvet, and she has Kira Hogan. So now you get you give them the rub. She's doing what Roman did, did for the Uso. Even though the Uso's already established, they, it just putting him at another level now. Oh, where is um where is like Mercedes Martinez with the Ring of Honor Women Champion? I'm glad you brought that up because I really hope Tony figures out a way to keep. I, I personally would rather them be separate. Like, if you're going to do Ring of Honor, do Ring of Honor. I think having the mixture of the matches on Dynamite and on Ramp, like, just having the mixture, My nigga, it, it's, it's is the, too it's, fucking much. <laughs> I've been saying this shit, and nobody too wants to much. listen. It is the invasion angle all it over again. It is. It's the same kind of situation. You don't have enough contracts to, to, to use. But at least with the invasion angle, you had a point person that was controlling that invasion. This is not an invasion because there's no point person. They have the same invasion. point person that's invading is the same nigga that owns the other shit. But the thing about it is <laughs> How are you have invading? an invasion angle also in, in um an impact. Now this the in, so and that's what frustrated me. The impact shit made sense because they had just Ring of Honor was nothing. To have the people come and pop out of nowhere, and they did have that made honor, sense. Um, and then the, the head, this is what I'm saying, you got to have that kind of like one leader where it's the ringleader. The actual like ringleader was fucking Maria Kanellis. <laughs> she was the one that came out and was like, I brought, I brought what was necessary for Ring of Honor here. Like, So that made sense. So wait, but The I shit on a, that makes no sense. But the thing about it is, I keep, what I'm trying to tell you is that this is not, it's not a Ring of Honor like it's not a reboot, and I reboot. and I really it's wish a, it's, it's a reincarnation of a, with a completely different because bunch of wrestlers because it's weird because and I don't even think it's that literally like you have Jonathan Gretchen you never see on AEW at all but yet he's on Impact so it's just like there's no unity with this no it's, it's all it's, over it's, the place all, but the thing about it the the, the um it's like the you TV painted... title did did um main event yeah. Last night, but then it wasn't with, with, with real ROH guys. Triple Joy's an ROH it was guy. with it was with Shizuki, but I'm who just about... won that title the what, the week before. But Joe, okay, but Joe, but then okay for then Joe to win it, and but, then for fucking Jay Lethal, these are all ROH guys. But then I forgot what the fuck I was watching. But it, it, it's it it was weird. It, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Joe is an ROH alum. He's an alum. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, you, nigga, it's like you like you. 
What high school you went to? You're an alum from your high school. Yeah. And you, 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 you like, is that's what you are, an alum? You used to be there. Mm-hmm. You're not fresh out of ROH. Or think of it as, like, you know, when you go to, like, if you're in high school, but there are, like, three other high schools in that building. But they're yeah, all very, yeah, yeah. Um, but they're all separate. A satellite school, a satellite right, school. Right, but yeah. they're all separate, but then you all end up being at lunch together. Like, AEW oh. satellite school. Yo, but but the thing, though, is it, it doesn't have to be because then, like I just said, I forgot what the fuck I was watching. I was like, am I watching ROH? Jay Lethal makes sense. No, yeah. complete it, sense. It Even sense. the week before when Jay had cut that promo and was like, I got a present for Joe when he comes next week. I like that. But for me, that's an ROH thing. That's not an AEW thing. But he doesn't know what to do right now because there's a lot of, a lot of things, a lot of red tape he probably has to go through. But at the same time, like I, I've been saying, like, I don't mean to sound like a broken record. I've been saying this. This shit is not ROH. This shit is another way for him to put people in matches and use the ROH. I feel title. like the this is I, ECW yeah. 2.0. Like I feel like the ROH title, the titles don't mean nothing. They don't. They don't because they don't. It, they don't have their own. It doesn't have its own home. It doesn't. And and, and that's my whole. And granted, it's still new for him. And, and you know, it, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. But for for me, for it to make sense, ROH has to stay. Like if you're gonna bring it back. Bring it back to where it stands on its own, where it doesn't yeah. have to. We don't have to mix everybody in. Gresham's and, gonna be defending the ROH title at the Battle of the Belts. <laughs> what fucking <laughs> again? Too. I don't know who we are, but Izzy just said it. But see, but stuff like that, you're like, what am I watching? Who is who, who is who? What story am I getting? Yeah. Who am I watching? Who yeah, yeah, who's yeah, talking? Yeah. Like, why am I watching a? Oh, Gresham's another one that doesn't really cut good promos though. <laughs> Super sad though. Well, Gresham doesn't know how to talk. <laughs> In real life, correct. But, I was, but when why, you just said that, I was like, "Oh, we're here." Don't like us. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I will stand on that though. Not very good on the mic, but one of the best technical wrestlers right one now the in the business. One of the best. I will never take away his talent in the ring. But once again, for the character, when you always talk about character building and Not character there, yeah. evolving. I love what they did, and, and it was unfortunate because I think niggas started to get it right at the end of ROH. It was right at the end yeah. where they had they had all the different stables and groups because it was Gresham and, and Lethal mm-hmm. together. It was STP together. It was the Kingdom. It was so many different factions, mm-hmm. but it was working to the point where then each individual person was getting their own time to shine and, and, to, do, and to do things. Like, look at Kenny King. Kenny King's career had like they, when they all Yo, got together, that shit just Kenny blew up. King? And then for it to be the last match was Shane and him, and the way that they did it, and at the end, all of the all of the men of color coming together yeah. and putting their fist up with unity at the yeah. end of that show, like exactly. that shit, shit like that, you gotta appreciate. Shout out to Kenny King because I didn't realize he looked like Brandon. Uh, of course, <laughs> that's his that's his older brothers are like Kenny King is a low key Renaissance man too. You know that he was in season two of Tough Enough? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. I was watching something, and I didn't know that. Where watching it, they they put an okie dog at the last minute. <laughs> because I was watching the replay about it. They was talking about it, and it said that, yo, you saw Kenny King and the other guy, you know, R.P. Tim, because he died. And then you watching it, they said, all right, cool. The black woman one is like, everybody was like, all right, I can see that because he was an athlete. When the, I think Jackie won, Kenny King face was just like, wow. I didn't know that, like, um, people forget that he was the original Beat Dan Clang, the original Hurt Business. This thing is... Oh, on TNA? Yeah. yeah. And he does commentary? Where? Yeah. I'm not going to hold you. I, lo- I love... He was on The Bachelor? I mean, yeah. Bachelorette? Yeah. yeah. Yo, this nigga, this nigga's a TV He's a though. real <laughs> renaissance, but yet... <laughs> I, like, Dalton I Castle. I love Dalton, Dalton Castle. Castle. Yeah. But Kenny King... Absolutely love him. But Yo, once again... Can we get on the show? Where, but where, where did that... We can talk about that after. <laughs> but oh, my thing is, though, you if you're going to do... But once again, it goes back to you just throwing the matches together and there's no there's no meat and potatoes. It's a whole bunch of sides. <laughs> like, you getting mac and cheese on a Saturday night when you should really be getting filet mignon. Like, I don't understand. Like, and I, and I want... And that's the thing. Like, I want ROH because what they were building to, and it just was so unfortunate that what, what happened, what ROH was doing at the time right before they decided to close shop was some of the best stuff they were doing in but a it was very Sinclair long Bar- time. I mean, it was Sinclair broadcast. It, it, was, it was a lot. It was, it was, it was lot. Sinclair. It, it, was, it was behind the scenes. Yeah. A lot of shit that ended up being what it is. Like my but brother said, they, don't, they have no media value. 
Like they, like they, they never really evolved with the time. Like but it, the, and it's not even that. But it was just like Tony basically had just bought a name. He didn't buy the players because yeah. there were no players. Yeah. He didn't buy the um, you know, and that's why I guess you have Gresham on Impact and then also doing the Battle of the Belts. But thing, you could. Conf- but again, it's weird. Again, it's weird so because weird. you're not advertising. It's like it's just like can you? I guess the legal process of it is like, okay, can you even mention these other wrestlers of Impact? Can he? I don't know. But, like, I but I don't know. It's, it's, it's just, it, it has to, something has to change. I think for it, for it to, if you're going to do, and even if you, I, I don't know. Because then also, too, whatchamacallit, Discovery and uh, whatchamacallit is merging. So now it puts them in the position of dump. I had read it was rumored, but I had read an article where I think it, oh, it's Discovery and um and Warner Media so they're merging. I, I've heard of, so so and, there's going to be an issue though. And the issue is how all oh, the the guts and glo- and and the blood wow. and all that shit. That's going to be an issue. So now they're in the now they're in that realm of now they may not have a choice but to go PG because of the merge. And because of that, that's not a problem. It's though. not a problem, but it's a problem when you don't do stories. It's a problem when you don't build on. I like certain, the you, blood, though. you you fucking not excessive. No, I I I'm not. After if you were there for that, di- and y'all know I love. Shout out to Billy Dixon, changing the game left and right. I love him to death. I think we need to get um. Uh, hood foot on. We, we sure do, because I need someone else to explain this death match sh- shit to me. If you was there Speaking of hood foot. at For the Culture, WrestleMania weekend, the main event was Billy Dixon versus Hood Foot. You watch, being there, no, nobody but, cares for that. But that's, again, <laughs> but that's, but again, that's them. This is AEW. I like when I see blood on my screen, because I don't see it often. I like to see the crimson mask. I like that because in actual fight, niggas are gonna bleed. And in actual fight, like and, and like you talk about this is a combat sport. They don't stop it. They say, "Are you okay? Cool. Let's continue." That's it. So I like the blood, but I understand it's not. It's, you, it's you not. It's it. everybody cup. It's yeah. not everybody cup of tea. But it's just like. But it also has to, for. I think for me, it has to also make sense. Like niggas can't just bleed to bleed. Right, but it also. <laughs> but like, like that don't. But that's not like, gonna hit for me. But it's just like, again, it'll feel like WWE like all over again. So it's just like I don't want to like my thing is just where like it gives them the edge, and now it's just like. But blood has to give you the edge, though. Yes, it adds. Not, edge. not, not the TV show you're producing, not the matches you're producing. It gives it. It, it gives it like blood for example, gives you. So, so you say Cody versus blood gives you the extra credit. So, is what so you're that's your me. question. Cody, okay, okay, fine. Stone Cold versus Bret Hart. You think if Stone Cold didn't have the Crimson Mask, you think that it would be the same effect? If he didn't have, like, in terms of the match, but that didn't happen. In, that didn't happen. That was often. That was once in a blue. But we're you talking said, about. We're, but no, 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 no. I understand that. But I'm going off that blood give you the edge. Yes, because it adds like the little you, extra layer to it. So, so this is my thing with blood. Blood, and and, and you you raise a good point. It does add an edge to to, to things, but blood also is supposed to be that extra. Caveat in a situation that that little bit of oomph. It's, yeah, yeah. It, but, the but if extra you do credit. It, but, but, but but if you do it every week for the mo- or every, every other week, week, every other week, it's like okay, we're just gonna see blood every week because you're supposed to go, oh shit. Why? It's why? now you're watering down that effect that you're looking for because because why did we pop when? And, and I'm sorry to bring WWE in this, but why did we pop when Stone Cold started bleeding when he's taking, when he's taking that um. Sharpshooter. Look at fucking. We, we what happened it. with Becky? Becky. With the nose. Becky's another another example. It's and I understand you like yo. You just like this that shit, but in and the overall fine. bigger picture, it's just like it, it's a war. It gets watered down because you're constantly seeing. All right, cool. It. No, no, no. The no. effect disappears. All right, my thing is this way. You don't have to use it all the time, but like, don't get rid of it because I like it. When it happens, it happens. If you have to do it every once in a while, I'm fine with that. Well, that merger may change a lot of things behind the scenes. I will, Yo, I, I will say, and that, and that's just the way, unfortunately, TV is. That thing's not pussy. That, it, it, but it's not even that. It's sponsors. It's people that's putting money into your show. That's paying for shit. You gotta. There has to be a balance. I'm not saying like if it's if it's that what you know for them what they consider the having that edge. Then no, I don't think it should be a complete loss. But for me, it has to make sense. But if it's on pay per view, they keep it on pay per view. Which by the way, people are paying for that. That's different because that's a premium thing right there. 
That's premium. Like, you're paying for this to watch. It's like OnlyFans. So behind that paying wall, you do whatever well, you want. Well, that's different, yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like pay-per-view, I think, is a different role. That's, yeah, yeah, that's different. But yeah. uh, weekly televised TV with sponsors, because the, them niggas is still butt hurt off of that fucking pizza slicer thing. Niggas is still talking about that behind the scenes. And it's, but it's a, it's a business thing. And it's, I can't say it's unfortunate. As the, on the fan side of things, it, it's unfortunate. But on the business side, the thing about it you got to think of the bigger picture. It'd be the same people complaining about, oh my gosh, you know, everybody, the world got so soft. It'd be the same people complaining about that. I look. Yeah. But blood, I th- but blood is I don't think is a is a level of of either being tough or, or, or soft. It's it, it just too much. I just think I just think it's too much. But the thing about it, sometimes when you're put into a box, you have to get extra creative. Okay, I agree with that. So, with what's with the change in, with with the current climate of the world, they're gonna have to adjust, and they're going to have to be more creative. That's what's going to happen. And I hope this doesn't fuck them over because I, like, I will die on this hill. AEW is important to wrestling. Yeah. So. Everything. Impact. No, no, are. no. Impact is cool. I lo- Impact is dope. But AEW is very important to wrestling. It does so much for the ecosystem of wrestling. And if this happens what it's supposed what they're saying this because this is a room I saw the same thing. Mm-hmm. If this they have to go to PG. Well, the merge is gonna happen. But what the merge That's is gonna happen, happening. and if they have to go to PG, then they have to get creative and stay on their game because you can't depend on guts and, and blood guts, to put everything finger, over. Finger, finger um, middle fingers up. But the thing about it, the beauty about going PG is you get more money. Because now your content can be used in more places. Now you you attract a bigger a bigger audience. Because I've said this before, if I'm if I have a family, and I want to go to an AEW show, sometimes I'm, I'm only br- 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 coming by myself or my homeboy. But I got a family of four: my wife, my two kids. Yeah, that demographic is that's is, four. That's four that, tickets. That demographic is night and day. That four, that's four tickets that demo- being sold. Because because being, being that being that being that mania. I did see many people our age because, you know, at this point, because you, you, you got to think about it. It's money, right? Mm-hmm. And about how things evolve. Just think about how much we spent. Yeah. And the Superstore. Remember the mom? We saw a mom when we came out of the Superstore. We saw a black mom, four boys, four kids. They all had bags. All of them. She had to at least, if, if I spent only, and I had got like two or three things, and this one spent a little over 100 she had to spend at least $500. At least. So when you get in it, that's what I'm saying, the business side of things, when you get in that different realm and okay. you get in a different door, it does open a lot of different okay. avenues of revenue. You know what I'm really scared of? Here's the truth. Is these are a lot of guys in AEW that I watch, and I don't want their art to get watered down because of sponsorship. And, and, and that makes, and that's a, that's per, a, that, and yeah, that's a that's legit concern. concern yeah. That's a legit they concern. They concerned about that shit too. But the thing <laughs> is, you, you, gotta, you gotta look at it like this though. It's corporate. And I've but said- also I, too, how do you expect to evolve? Like we spoke about earlier, how do you expect to evolve? Because the thing about it, you're gonna get more money. If you're still doing the same thing. You're gonna thing. get more things and things are going to Ooh. change. And then like she said, you're gonna, you have to evolve because the money starts coming in and you gotta move a little bit differently. But then- you have guys like Mox, who legit said he was tired of that PG shit in WWE. Look at Daniel Bryan. He had said the he whole conversation. Had the whole conversation with Vince and was like, "Yo, I, I want color." And Vince was like, "I can't give you and that." And that's the thing. And and, and 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 that's a great concern from from off what they're saying. But Triple H said this one day, even though the DX, the new DX, was kind of corny. He said they had to be kid friendly. You have to <laughs> when you when you. Got to be put in a box. You got to get more creative. Like, for instance, as a trainer, if I'm working at a private gym that doesn't have much, I still got to put you through a workout. If my skill level is at a point that I, I can't do it, then I, I shouldn't be training. I shouldn't be training. Yeah. At least, the, okay, I'm, okay. Because the moves aren't, aren't going to change. Like, the matches aren't going to change. The fights aren't going to change. It's just what it's going to be is that you're not going to have color. Okay. Okay. And Moxie got his color. DB got his color. 
DB got spat on, and that that was a bit. Much I just for me. don't want <laughs> to like lose like. Your... You don't. You just you like the blood and the guts and the gore, and you don't want to see that disappear because you don't get that on the other show. I can't get that on indies like that. Because uh, if you go York. to deathmatch shit, you will definitely get that. Deathmatch makes my stomach hurt. Well, then how you gotta? How the fuck you gonna say here and be like, I like blood, it, but not like deathmatch shit? Because it's too much. I don't want to see you bleed on your back. I don't want to see you bleed on your chest. And I feel like some of the studs be like, if you <laughs> land it a certain way, you could pop an artery. That to me is just like. But my nigga, that's the same thing that they do on AIDS. You think that if Britt Baker and old girl at the thumb thumb tax, if she. Did it? If she could, she could hit something too. That that's possible. Just, Whenever you have that, something outside of the the squared circle without weapons, you are running the risk. I cannot watch death matches of doing shit because it makes me sick. That's hilarious. It's too much blood. I I now there's, there's levels to blood for you. Yes, <laughs> like you bleed for your face because a, a regular. Okay, cool. But if you put something in a life tube, like yo, that that don't affect your lord. Anyway, all right, we only got a few more minutes left. Now let's talk about. You said AEW for you was the best show this week. It was. For me, it was NXT 2.0. And I'm going to break down why. Because every, whether it was the match, whether it was the segment, whether it was the promo, everything hit. I'm actually upset that we didn't talk about fucking Joe Gacy. Shout out to Joe Gacy. Seen him in the indies. Loved that the fact that now he's with WWE and got signed. I think it's super dope. I think the character is dope. Joe Gacy. Who's he playing? Joe Gacy. Who's he playing? Joe Gacy. What's he did recently? NXT? He's on NXT. He's the one with the he's the one that was kind of on some like he wanted to help everybody and bring everybody together and stop spreading propaganda and type of shit. But when this nigga kidnapped oh him him, him Braun Breaker's daddy yeah, I said that, y'all niggas I, mean, he took them, he I took... said why the fuck is nobody talking about this they don't talk about NXT too much though. that's don't... wild cause I didn't even see the week before so when I saw the clip of that I said oh, he stole Papa Steiner and then he took his Hall of Fame ring and tried to burn it knowing damn well that ring was not gonna burn and then put it on after yeah, taking it out dope. of the fire I said oh hell nah if that's not an invested storyline, I don't know what the fuck is. Then, listen, I'm be honest, wasn't I'm, I'm still not really I'm big on the lash the lash girl, but that fucking boo sold me. I said, oh, it was fire. I said, oh, we we turning it's up. Nikki Lions, Nikki Thickums. She, asked, you're in favor of love. Uh, I'm sleep. Yeah, she was in favor of love. Um, no, 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 no. Either favor of love or like um. The real chance of love. Um, oh, what else did that? What else? Everything from top to fucking Natalia, gonna put over Corey J like nobody else can, and exactly. I'm excited about that because that was something that somebody in the group Yo, had mentioned. She was in Louis Vuitton's. Outfit. She she was doing the sharpshooter in Louis. I said this bitch is popping, <laughs> okay? And everybody, because somebody had, and I was glad you popped on that that comment too, because somebody had said was like. They was tired of like the main roster coming out of NXT, and I was He's just like, this. and I was just like, you don't understand the value of somebody experience coming in and building the person. Like for example, Ruin Regal versus Cesaro, Cesaro versus um, Sami Zayn. People forget Natalia and Tyson Kidd was the basic foundation of the 2.0. Like Natalia versus um, Charlotte. So Natalia going back to NXT made sense. It, it was it, it was genius. Um, I like the little the, the the Wendy girl coming in with this with the super soakers. That was kind of funny and cute. But I like her kind of being in that in that storyline. Like I just for me rest like to elevate. You gotta have the characters. You gotta have the story. And I know it's been an ongoing battle between professional wrestling and it's sports entertainment and ah uh, ah. Uh, and I realized something that as much as AEW likes to put on, and it's something actually Mikey has said. As much as AEW likes to put on the whole, like, we're professional wrestling, this is this is our narrative, mm -hmm. he was like, yo, Dan Housing is sports entertainment, and if anyone disagrees, I don't know why. Wrestling is sports <laughs> entertainment still. I don't listen to these fans. Like, and I said, you know what? He has a point about Everything Dan is sports housing. entertainment. Like, people, like, people don't understand, when you're selling the ring, sports entertainment. When... When like how that how that you do certain move towards the hard cam to make sure the uh, cam get it sports entertainment dickheads like people don't understand wrestling got popping because they made it scripted because it was lasted too long in the ring 
It was too long. They had him get entertainment. What the hell? The entrances, entertainment, the music you like. That's oh, actually that's actually all I go for now for Mania is entrances. Thank I just you. Go for, so I don't. I go to for the glitz and glam. Like I don't think about oh, it. Fuck. If we shout out to Vince again, him saying that this is sports entertainment. A lot of these independent wrestlers could run in Jersey without no license and none of that because they was getting fined and they was getting like um um they was getting like taxed because as a, as a um as a sports tax. Thank you to Vince. So you have these sports entertainment, dickheads. Uh, also, Vince um saved the wrestling. During Thank the you. Save save no, wrestling save because he made y'all essential workers. Okay. So talk what you may talk. That's gang. Yo, it's that's gangster as fuck. Come on, like, B. To turn he is Illuminati. To turn niggas into oh, oh Vince is definitely Illuminati. To Luminati. turn niggas to essential. He's living till he's one hundred and fifty. Like he needs I don't to. think that Vince not, is like on like level to one. Go. Like, like, especially like, after Mania, I was like, I don't want him to I'm go. I'm like Vince, like on the top level of uh, of, 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 of like Illuminati, but like Vince is up there. But Vince I will well, once again NXT 2.0. If you have not actually Fire, been son. in it, I, don't I recommend says. highly recommend watching because fucking Carmelo coming in, beating up Cameron Grimes, them still working on that story. Okay, if AEW, if if AEW and I'm like 2.0. I wouldn't mind that because there's mad storylines going on. Keep me invested and stuff like that. But that I don't mind that. Yes, I, I agree. don't mind that. I agree. But but because they pick they very so so that's the thing. my issue with AEW at times is they're very selective on the storyline. The Eddie they Kingston build. match, yo, how you technically on the runway? B, come on, come on, fire, son. Yeah, but once again, NXT 2.0, a must see. Um, once hours. again, next Wednesday, the toes four twenty. Oh yeah, my toes is out. It's hot in New York today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fucking blazing hip hop and RB outside. Nah, it's on flame. Um, four twenty Battle Club Pro Women Crush Wednesday two are all women female show. Um, tickets will be on sale here below. and at the door. So make sure to bring a friend, tell a friend, to tell a friend. Come out. You can smoke with Mister Black. I mm-hmm. will Shmoke say. With. There you go. It's next week. Um, it is next week. Yeah. Um. What else is going Last but not least, um, we'll once again be back at Legends May eighth for WrestleMania Backlash. Backlash. And then uh, Memorial Day weekend, double or nothing for AEW. So make sure to make sure to RSVP when those flyers and stuff go go out. Um, other than that, oh please check out our upcoming interviews that we have. We got something special. Ooh. We do have a few. A few. We do have a few interviews few. in the pocket. So few. just stay tuned for that. We're really excited about Ooh, them. I can't wait for y'all to see it. And they're dogs. gonna come, and, and y'all gonna be like, "Weird," and we're like, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. So um. As always, I'm Janelle from HR here with Starbucks and Mr. Black. Hashtag Black Excellence. Hashtag We Are Out. This shit's